Good morning, Castle fam. <laughs> so during an election season, it's completely normal to feel heightened anxiety or worry, especially if you anticipate that the outcome could impact your daily life. It's natural for uncertainty and potential changes to stir up feelings of vulnerability and stress. So that's why it's really important to take care of our mental health uh, when we're feeling this way during an election season. So let's just explore some practical ways to do that. Uh, the, one way is to limit our media exposure, right? Because constant exposure to the political news tends to heighten the anxiety and stress. So limiting how much we watch can reduce the overwhelm. We can, we can do this by designating specific times of the day that we check in on the news and catch up, and we can avoid watching it or looking at it right before bed so that our sleep is not disrupted. We can also curate our social media feed, right? So we can avoid, um, well, we can follow credible sources and avoid sensationalist ones. We can unfollow or mute posts that are, are distressing to us. And we can also take breaks. We can unplug from social media and the news and engage in activities that don't involve that, like reading or hobbies, going outdoors. Another thing we can do is establish a routine. A consistent daily routine uh, can offer a sense of stability and control amidst the uncertainty of the election cycle. So we can develop rhythms like planning our day with reasonably consistent times for spending time with God, for working and relaxing. We can incorporate physical activity because exercise helps to reduce stress hormones and boosts our mood. And we can maintain healthy habits like prioritizing a balanced diet, getting enough water, enough sleep. Um, this can help not only our physical health, but also our mental health. Another thing we can do is get together with our friends because a supportive community can provide comfort, share the emotional burden, and de decrease our feelings of isolation. So we can do this by simply like reaching out to our friends and family or a support group who understands our concerns. We can plan for fun, right? We can choose activities that um, spark some creativity and make us laugh. Another thing we can do is practice self-care. We can intentionally plan activities where we can trade stress for peace or contentment. We can do this by dedicating some time to hobbies or activities that capture our interest. We can spend time outdoors. It's been shown that being in nature can help reduce our stress and improve our mood. And we can uh, engage in activities that are creative, like drawing or writing, playing music, as a way to express our emotions and even distract from the stress we're feeling. And another thing we can do is consider therapy, especially if by doing these other things, um, it doesn't help our anxiety go down. Um, if our anxiety is overwhelming, it's a good time to consider therapy. And, is, and if election stress is impacting your relationships, a really good time for therapy for you or you and the person that it's impacting. So um, resources are available in the foyer for um, if you're considering therapy and even a business card with like a website to find a Christian therapist in Connecticut. So and remember that at Castle you're not alone and we're all in this together. <laughs>